Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Vinland Saga Season 2 Episode 7. Um, in the last episode we were introduced properly to uh, Sverkel, the previous master of the land and Kettle's father. Um, you guys explained to me that they are him and Snake are in fact not related. They just kind of have that bond between each other where they can rely on each other I guess and they kind of act like family, which is cool. Um, I was very confused about that. But yeah, it makes sense. Snake's not actually related to Kettle. Um, but yeah, they managed to get a horse. They're making strides on the land. And made, they've got a little farm going as well. Uh, they've got goatees as well. So it's it's been it's been some amount of time that they've been going at this for now. Um, yeah, I definitely felt some foreshadowing from the conversation Sverkel and Snake were having um, at the dinner table. Hopefully I'm just reading into it. But it's very possible with a farm at this size that eventually it would be raided. So um, yeah, looking forward to the episodes though. I'm very honestly, it's it's great. It's such an interesting change of pace with Vinland Saga on how the start of the season's gone so far. I'm really enjoying it because the development for Thorfinn and um, Einard as well, like them being together and how they influence each other, is is freaking great. I love it. Uh, but yeah, overall, very excited for this episode. So let's get straight into it, guys. Uh, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Uh, is this slaves doing this or is this like raiders? Bandits? I like the fact that we're seeing them like kind of age and stuff or getting older, getting facial hair, stuff like that. It still feels weird. It'll grow on me though, seeing them with that facial hair. Especially Vorfin. It's so different. She's cute. I hope nothing bad happens to her. Yeah, <laughs> mine is so in love. He's such a doofus. I love these two. Such good friends. Aww. Something nice to look forward to in the morning. That's sweet. Life's looking up. Got us a horse. Oh, what the fuck? Is this Kettle's wife? Ooh. Look at that. Shit's growing. <laughs> He's so curious. <laughs> That's adorable, man. Watching him just live a normal life. Oh, yeah. I wonder what her deal is. Well, pray? Pray that nothing bad happens to her? <laughs> oh, Einar. Can't imagine Thorfinn doing this. <laughs> He's so serious. Join me. <laughs> pray to everyone. Just at everyone. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh man, season one, Thorfinn and Thorfinn now are just so different. This crazy development. Yo, who is this? Oh, the, another son. Interesting. Ah, so this must be who Olmar's inspired by then, his big brother. His name's Thorgil? This man's gotta be raw. Anybody with the name Thor in their name in this show is raw. Oh, so this is still set in the past, when Canute's not officially king yet. Nah, I need these two. Need these two to fight. The, these two have got to be like the rawest warriors on this farm. Oh, are these the ones that were stealing? Are they just kids? Kel's not a bad person, but I wonder what kind of punishment he'll dish out for this. 
If these are slaves or kettles, shouldn't they already be, well, being fed enough, I suppose? Bro, look at this feast. Just hella meat. <laughs> Olmar's like, damn, there's a lot to take in. Uh, to prove yourself, you need the skills first, bro. Is that... Are those ears, bro? Bro. Iron Fist Kettle. Interesting. Yo. Yeah, he was raw. Oh my god. Damn, Kettle is nasty. He is not to be fucked with. He's probably still raw if it comes to it, like, at his age now. I love how he, how he treats them as actual people. It seems they were obviously stealing because their mother's sick. They probably got no other way to have food at the moment. He owes money. Ah. So, but he's been missing. Yeah, you don't gotta say that, bro. Come on, they're kids. <laughs> yeah, Kettle? Oh, He feels for them. I reckon he, he'll take them in, in some kind of way. Put them to work. <laughs> that is threatening them. An arm for stealing some flour? Oh my god. There's no way Cat will actually let them be punished that severely. That son of mine. Not someone... Maybe that's why he, why he doesn't want Olmar to go onto the battlefield. He doesn't want him to be like him. True. There's no way you should chop off a child's arms. See, perfect. Good punishment. You don't have to actually damage them in any way. <laughs> Kettle's like, oh, thank God. I really didn't want to punish them. Oh. Peter, okay. Bro, Kettle's the one in charge. Tell them that that's all they need to do. I get the reasoning, the punishment, but like this, uh, they, like Kettle doesn't want to be walked over, is what they're saying, but he, he doesn't care. He's, he's clearly a good person. Aww. Good big brother. Yeah, no fucking chance. No chance for Gil. You'll fucking kill him. Nah, he's gonna break his ribs or something. Oh my god! That's worth 20. Jesus Christ. That sucks, man. How are you gonna make a good worker when you have to beat the fucking guy to death? I wonder what, what happened in Kettle's life that made him change like this. Oh, was he never actually, like, Iron Fist? Damn. Really had to set everybody straight with the stories. Oh, I thought they said they weren't, they weren't going to hit him in the face, man. Jesus. Well... I guess we know I guess we know what she actually does for him then. Damn. I don't think she's getting off it getting the deal quite like Aynard and uh Forfin, huh? Right, so that was Vinland Saga season two, episode seven. Uh, we have a more focused on Kettle and that kind of family uh in this episode. Turns out obviously 
before all this, we didn't know Kettle was supposed to have been a warrior, but Iron Fist Kettle, um, we at first was seemed quite believable. Obviously, he he's he's older, but he still looks very strong. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of lies made up just to kind of make sure nobody fucks with him, basically, and make sure he can lead these people. He's a good person. He's probably too good for where he's at in the world, in this world. Um, obviously, he owns slaves, but he's obviously very good to his people when he can be. Um, but he needs to show strength to actually be able to lead them, uh, especially Borgil and uh, the guards and stuff as well. It, it does suck. But um, yeah, it's interesting to see kind of the, the other characters in this as well. Borgil, definitely ruthless, horrifying, even judged by his own father in that way. Um, but like I said, anybody with four in the name in this show is... Yeah, they're, they're going to be wild. Um, overall, a very good episode, though. Definitely looking forward to the next. It's interesting as well that they mentioned about Canute, how he's like a general now. So presumably, if I'm reading into it correctly, that would mean this is set in the past before Canute is actually crowned the true king of England. Very cool. It's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see where he, where he, uh, Thorfinn and Einar are at when uh, it reaches the point where it's caught up to you know King Canute. Um, oh yeah, overall very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.